Good to see, but really just to show him around the place and show him the track really. And what have you seen from his preparation between Dubai and now that this positive? Um, no, we've been very happy with him. We, we haven't overdone him. Uh, obviously, he went to Dubai and it's only been five weeks ago, so he's here a week. So it was four weeks from the time he, he, he left. Um, he had a good, strong race in Dubai. Um, so um, he's here kind of really, uh, we think, fresh rather than being hard on him, if, if you know what I mean. And what have you kind of learned or changed since Joe's at Johannesburg to now? Well, I, I, I'm sure, uh, did we give Johannesburg a prep? Uh, maybe one in, in Dundalk, I think it was. Um, but like, obviously we, we started in Dundalk and uh, it was an artificial surface for him. Um, uh, coming up to last year's uh, Breeders' Cup, uh, when he was second in the Jew horse, we felt and listen, the lads always thought that he was going to be, he could be a Kentucky Derby horse. And, and we felt that he was a horse that had a chance of uh, acting on the dirt. So we had a decision to make whether we would uh, stay on grass with him for the Breeders' Cup or switch him to dirt. Um, but at the time we had US Navy flag and he had won uh, two group ones on the grass and, uh, and obviously Mendelssohn hadn't. So rather than making too big a change, we said we'd give him a chance of winning a group one on the, on the turf and with the view that we could train him over the winter with the Kentucky Derby in, in mind. And, and obviously we were very lucky that um, uh, Churchill and, and uh, um, HRI and everybody um, put on a, a Kentucky Derby kind of a trial in, in our part of the world. So that was Dundalk and that was just the perfect distance we taught um, at the perfect time. And it was, a, it was a little bit of an introduction for him coming from the grass to an artificial surface. Obviously it wasn't dirt, but it was different than grass. And, and we felt if that went well, the next one would be Dubai, where it would be dirt surface and uh, the trip would be further. Um, we, we weren't sure, obviously, how far he would get. He, he's a horse that always showed plenty of pace in his work. And he, obviously he got a mile well in Dundalk and then he went to uh, um, uh, Maidan. And uh, we were delighted that he got the, a nine and a half furlongs uh, on the dirt, which is a tough surface. So um, for us, he has he has progressed nicely. He has passed the test that we have asked him to pass so far. Um, and uh, that's obviously why we are here today, really. Can you speak a little bit on his personality? He seems to be quite yeah, vocal. yeah, no, he, he, he's, uh, he, is, he, is, um, he has a big personality, which uh, we always try to encourage in horses to develop a personality, and he has developed a big one. Um, um, he, he's, uh, he's, he, even though he's vocal, like I said, he, he cries out and calls the horses. He's not cold, he doesn't draw, or he doesn't show um, in that way, so it's more of a, a mental thing than anything. And, and as we were training him last year, when we uh, put on uh, blinkers on him, it totally focuses his mind. It's, it's amazing for an inch at either side of his eye, it just totally changes his focus. And that's the way he has been so far. Um, and what you see there is he was the same in, in Dubai before he uh, before he raced. And, but, and we saw last year, the minute the, the, the blinkers went on, he's, he's, uh, he's just totally focused, you know. So we, we don't want to change too much. And, and he's slowly uh, growing up. He's a, he's really well bred. Uh, was a, a yearling sale topper. This would be the perfect storm. He, he was absolutely. Obviously, uh, um, uh, and, um, John and, and Sue and, and uh, Derek and Gay and Michael and Dorian when they bought him, um, um, uh, Paul and MV picked him out in in uh, uh, in Keeneland, obviously with with Demi and. Uh, but I remember uh, Paul and MV saying that. always had it in their mind that this is where he could be. He, he came to us as a top rated horse um, and usually those horses, if things go right, they have a big big shot really. And, and like like you said, the way he's bred is he's an unbelievable uh, a pedigree for, for this part of the world as well. Aiden, is, uh, how does the dirt here compare with Maidan in your impression and maybe more important in Mendelssohn's impression of it? Yeah, that's right. I, 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 I'm not qualified enough to talk much about dirt, um, to tell you the truth. But, um, Maidan is, is, is a proper dirt surface and I remember when, when they changed it from artificial to dirt and it was for this reason. Um, so, um, listen, um, the, um, Dean rode him, uh, Alan rode him in, in Maidan and he was very happy with him. Dean rode him uh, today and uh, he was very happy the way he went over the surface, you know. So, I, I suppose um, um, that, that's all I could say really, you know. So, But he, he seems very happy. I think he's drawn out a little bit and I think um, some of uh, your American 
uh, trainers like uh, Bob Bafford and, and obviously Wayne, uh, they kind of thought that they would rather they, they would mind being out a little bit where we are. So that's a positive for us anyway. That they obviously they would know an awful lot more about dirt racing than I would. Um, so I would imagine that he'll be he'll be some way forward. Uh, I, I I'm not sure. I didn't speak to Ryan, and Ryan will decide that always. I, I think there's pace on his inside, um, and and uh, I think Bob's horse is on his inside as well. So he, he made it in Maidan, but I wouldn't be sure that he will make it here. Um, but that that will be Ryan's decision when when the gates open, really. And what would this mean for you and for the operation? You yeah, have? yeah. Listen, it would be something that that we couldn't really dream of, really. Um, I, this wouldn't be anything that we could ever dream of uh, happening. Um, like we, we feel so privileged to be here and to have a horse to be here and to um, to be able to compete. Um, but like obviously, it, it wouldn't be. Um, uh, like to, to dream about something like this wouldn't, wouldn't be, uh, you know, it, it would be, it would be very even hard to dream about. Really.